So uh, happy 2020. It's our first shoot of 2020, and we're with Sarah Hi. over in where are we today? Kings Bromley. Kings Bromley, uh, and uh, we're Sarah's studio. So this is uh, images by Sarah Jane Bulldock, and uh, we're going to be shooting a newborn baby today, aren't we? We are. Yes, twelve. Well, thirteen days old today. Thirteen days is. old. Cool. Yes. So yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself, Sarah. Um, so I'm a specialist uh, newborn photographer. So uh, as I said, I've been doing it now for about six years. Um, used to be mobile, but now I've got the studio, which is our converted garage. Yeah. So, and I do specialise in newborns, which ideally are between sort of seven and 14 days old. Yeah. Um, so it's sort of capturing those so uh, special images. How does that work then? So they say don't work with children or animals. Don't well, it? yes, in fact, I did both the other day, but there we go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, basically it's, everything is done at baby speed. It normally takes around about three hours. Okay. Um, they're all sort of nice and safe and, and sort of wrapped up and everything's done. As baby needs it so if they need feeding or yep. bottles or anything like that then we do that as we go along and yeah yeah so it's it's capturing those sort of very new images before they sort of grow up and start running around and yeah. things like that so you have to keep it nice and warm so it was yeah. a nice temperature it's what, between it 26 and 28 degrees 28 degrees so, so we'll burn some of that christmas turkey yeah you'll be, ta you'll be taking <laughs> that jumper off taking the jumper off for sure i think so yeah <laughs> if only i put a t-shirt underneath any jacket okay so should we take a look inside yeah sure okay let's go yeah Okay, tell us about your gear setup then, what do you use? Okay, so I've got a Canon 5D Mark III and I use a 2470 just because it's easier obviously when you've got baby it means you can zoom in and out. Um, ideally I'd sort of use a 50mm lens as well but it just makes it a lot harder um, to try and zoom in and zoom out and that sort of thing and getting all the different images. So we do the close up images and the further away, so the wider angle ones. Um, and then I've got uh, a giant softbox, which is a 175 uh, softbox with a D light one. So, and it's um, a flash. So I've obviously got the uh, modeling light on so I can see where the light's falling on baby because baby will be on here. Uh, and then I've got the flash, um, which has got a remote trigger. Um, and that's about it really. Okay, brilliant. And what about your backdrop setup that you've got there? <clears throat> um, the backdrop setup I've got, it's actually a fairly new one. It's designed by a company in Australia and basically they are all washable and you just pull them off and put them back so this is actually um, a double-sided one so you can put various different images so I've sort of gone with the sort of the more rusticy look but I've obviously got the lighter coloured ones as well and you can literally just whip them off and change them uh, as and when you need to so it gives you as much opportunity as possible and then for a few if I do particularly if I do maternity shoots as well which I do sometimes mm. um, you can obviously I've got the full height ones these ones are, are lower so it just means I can use the full height ones if I need a maternity shoot as well. So, Tell us what your favourite part about your job is. Uh, it is capturing the images for mums and dads to treasure forever. So it sounds very sort of odd, but it's true because I've got nice. three boys yeah. uh, and I know how quickly they grow up. Mine are now 11, 9 and 7. Um, and I didn't do it with them, which is why I retrained. So I really, really missed it because they yeah. are small for so long. Yeah. It's artwork that you can have on the wall forever and sort yeah. of like hand down to grandchildren and that sort of thing. So. And where can people find out more about you? Um, I've got a website which is www.newbornartbysjbulldog.co.uk <laughs> so, and I'm also on Facebook and Instagram as well. So. Sweet, ready for the shoot? Yep, let's go. And then what we'll do is towards the end we'll do the obviously the mum and dad shots as well. She's just gorgeous. So we're halfway through the shoot with Sarah, um, it's going really well, the baby's behaving remarkably well, I'm very surprised. Um, yeah, it's really interesting to be behind the scenes of a shoot like this, it's our first time we've done a newborn uh, behind the scenes and uh, yeah, it's quite clear that 
50% of the skill is actually about interacting with the baby and making sure it's comfortable, relaxed and in most parts sleeping. And the other 50% is obviously about the photography skills and uh, getting the right images and knowing the, uh, the sort of setup and stuff. But yeah, it's going well. We're using uh, two cameras. So as always, I'm on my ESR and I'm on the 24 millimeter prime lens today. We've used the slider. Uh, just to try and get some really slow transition shots. So the, the vibe and the mood of the video is obviously very um, relaxed because that's the environment we're in. Uh, comforting and warm and very cosy for, for the baby. Um, yeah, the, the parents are lovely. Uh, we're having a nice time. So uh, yeah, we'll go back in and carry on. Second shoot with uh, Sarah over in Kings Bromley, and uh, the clients are back today, so we've come to film their reactions. Just got some nice footage of them uh, watching the slideshow that Sarah creates. Uh, so she does the photography shoot on one day. Clients come back a week later or so, and uh, she presents to them in a really professional package. We're both really impressed, aren't we? Actually, yeah. Um, how professional it is, and the, the clients were amazing. Um, the new mom and dad were probably they, they, well. They just said they would have cried if we weren't in the room, but uh, I was getting a bit emotional myself actually. So. Um, yeah, they're just in the other room now, kind of uh, deciding on what they want to do. Oh, it's heavy, this is heavy. Is it? Yeah, I've got this new new lens um, yeah. on the EOSR body. It's the Beast 15 to 35 mil, and it is a tank. It's very heavy, but it's good. It's just not great with uh, puny muscular arms like mine. <laughs> You're gonna have to go to the gym if you want to use that lens. I will, I watched a video actually by Mark Bone about how to yeah. do um, certain workouts for um, camera. Camera operators, like camera us. people, filmers. Um, but yeah, this this 15 to 35 is coming in its own today. It's got in the uh, full extent of the room. It's quite a compact studio, but it's uh, very functional. Does the job that it needs to. Watch it. Nine times out of ten, I end up crying as well, and you think, "What am I doing? This is ridiculous." Your eyes looked a bit wet. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just been peeling onions. <laughs> and ready to go. So it means what you can do is you've obviously got them in a lovely box, but then if you want to frame them, you can sort of put some up on the wall, and then you can swap them around. You can do whatever you want. But I know I have that problem too with ruffling your beard. Yeah. So he's gonna laugh at you. Yeah. That's what he's gonna do. So you. <laughs> It's good fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, how have you found today's visit? It's exceeded our expectations and um, the viewing. Every single well, we wanted to purchase all of the. Yeah, I think we're done. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.